what i told you whatever the properties the parent having the same properties are transferred here then no need to write the codes here obviously the code can be reusable so systematically we cannot able to write the program and the flow of diagram is also very complex here if i want to maintain large amount of data in some particular systematic manner there also we are using hooks concept welcome back to one and all myself vasanta lecturer in computer science vidyashram pre university pu college temple of excellence mysore today we want to start with the second session of hooks chapter where as already in the previous class you have studied regarding the introduction of hooks what is the difference between object oriented as well as procedural oriented object oriented programming basic concept of hooks and the basic concept of hooks you have studied what do you mean by class object inheritance polymorphism encapsulation data abstraction as well as message passing today you will study regarding the advantages of hooks what are the advantages in this hooks and what are the disadvantages of hooks as well as the application of hooks regarding that you will come to know today first we will discuss about the advantages of hooks when they come on advantages here programs are modularized based on the principle of classes and objects already i told you in this it uses modular technique it will going to divide the large program into small small sub program after solving the result after solving the sub program the result once again generated to main program here then code can be reusable for as in inheritance i told you whatever the properties the parent having the same properties are transferred here then no need to write the codes here obviously the code can be reusable reused and encapsulation provides the security whereas already i told you encapsulation is nothing but combining data and function into single unit in the mobile data and functions are combined and by that data can be hidden here it can be secured if i want to pass the contacts from one mobile to another mobile directly i cannot able to pass it is hidden if i want to pass with the help of function only i can able to pass here that is encapsulation provides security for your data and inheritance helps to overcome from more complexity already i told you here time can be reduced in inheritance i told you code can be reused obviously code if it is we are reusing no need to write the code then obviously the time consumption is also less as well as memory consumption is also less if you want you can use a single level inheritance multi level inheritance multiple inheritance hierarchical inheritance by that i can able to avoid the complexity of the program here and it communicate through message passing from one object to another object i can able to pass the values here i can able to transfer the values already told you main program will be divided into sub program after doing the calculation in the sub program the result are passing to the main program that is it can communicate through message passing it reduces software development time obviously the complexity is also reduces as well as time consumption is also reduces memory consumption is also reduces here and the complexity is also reduces and code can be reused we can able to use modularized technique also this are the few advantages of hooks next we will discuss about few disadvantages already i told you here the programs are dividing into sub programs then the sub program will perform their task after perform the task it will generates to the result to the main program then on that time if i want to write the flow chart it is very difficult generally we in the flow chart start all the steps one by one we will write by using some symbols and then finally we will stop but here we are sub programs then the from sub program from one part of the program to another part of the program we have to transfer the data that's why if i want to write the flow chart it is very difficult here hooks has no set of standard systematically we cannot able to write the program and the flow of diagram is also very complex here already i told you 
in procedural mainly it will concentrates on procedure rather than data whereas here it mainly concentrates on in hopes mainly concentrates on data not on procedure for example in the previous class i gave an example if i want to reach from fourth floor to ground floor in procedural oriented what i will do first i will reach third floor then second floor first floor then ground floor that is a procedure whereas in object oriented we does not want all the steps then we can skip my agenda is to reach from fourth to ground floor directly i can jump from fourth to ground floor that is object oriented it means that we are not going to follow the systematic rules and regulation simply we want my final output that's why it is not a set of standard as well as if i want to write the flow chart then also it is very difficult here that conversion of real world problem into object oriented is very difficult then with that classes are more generalized these are the few disadvantages in hopes that is it does not have set of standard if i want to flow chart it is very difficult that real world problem cannot be solved here all the problems real world problems cannot be solved here that is also very difficult and here classes are more generalized these are the few disadvantages of hopes then next we will discuss about the applications of hopes application of hopes is nothing but where exactly we are using this this are used in computer graphic applications in graphic application we are using this hopes concept as well as in cad cap software cad that is cad cad means computer aided designing software there also we are using then cam software that is computer aided manufacturing there also we are using this hopes concept for example if i want to release some product or if i want to design some product then we are using this cad and cam software then object oriented database if i want to maintain large amount of data in some particular systematic manner there also we are using hopes concept it is used in object oriented database concept and it is used in user interface design such as windows there we are using this hooks concept then it is used in real time systems in real time system also we are using this immediately whatever transactions are occurred immediately it has to be updated that is real time system there also we are using this hooks concept as well as it is used in simulation as well as modeling there also we are using this hooks concept then it is used in artificial intelligence and expert system it is used in artificial intelligence as well as expert system and finally it is used in client server system usually i told you one question from part d one question from part a they will ask is it no for in part d you may go to get a question like write the application of hopes write the advantages of hopes write the disadvantages of hopes next you will study which are the major question from this chapter you may go to get that is for one mark you will get the question like explain or define what do you mean by class or explain define what do you mean by object what do you mean by data abstraction what do you mean by data encapsulation what do you mean by inheritance what do you mean by polymorphism for one mark they will going to ask that is any one of the definition where it will be message passing encapsulation inheritance anything with that they may want to ask what do you mean by base class or derived class one question you may want to get what do you mean by base class what do you mean by base class the existing class can be called as base class and the derived class can be called it as the new class is called as derived class next we will discuss few questions on this chapter for five marks they will going to ask differentiate between procedural oriented as well as object oriented programming there you have to write the difference that is top down approach bottom up approach where exactly it concentrates on data where exactly it is concentrates on procedure that a difference major you have to write that is in procedure mainly concentrates on procedure in object mainly concentrates on data rather than procedure whereas in procedural it approaches top down whereas in object oriented it performs it uses bottom up approach then you have to explain the characteristics of hopes this is a major question so many times asked this question explain 
the characteristics of folks or they are going to give write the characteristics or behavior of folks for five marks it's so many times they ask this question that is object oriented programming concept there you have to write any five features like class object inheritance message passing polymorphism any five for example object it's a real time entity which having some characteristics and behavior then class collection of related objects with same behavior and characteristics next for example inheritance inheritance is a process of acquiring the properties from base class to derived class polymorphism more than one form of a function then data abstraction this is nothing but extracting the features of essential features without considering the background detail that is data abstraction any five features if you write then that is enough for this one for us in the features you have class object inheritance encapsulation message passing data binding all the things you have if you write any five that is enough then the next one is explain the advantages of folks what are the advantages here you have that you have to write then what are the disadvantages that is it is not set of standard flow diagram is very difficult real world problem cannot be predict classes are more generalized regarding that you have to explain then write the application of hoops in this you have to write where exactly the hoops concepts are used it is used in simulation and modeling cad and uh, cad and cam software all those features we are told you know all where exactly we are use it that here you have to write these are the major concept you will study on this chapter that is what do you mean by class as well as the features of class with that that is features of hoops they may going to get otherwise advantage of hoops otherwise disadvantage of hoops otherwise application of hoops these are the four major questions you will study on this chapter next class we will meet with new concept thank you for all of you bye